Good morning, Ali. Morning. Have you got some uh, good injury news at least to smile about? Uh, not really. <laughs> Luke, Luke's, Luke's back in training today, so let's see how he is. He's, uh, he's getting there. So uh, let's see how he reacts to uh, the next couple of days. He's been working really hard, so we hope to see him before the international break. Maybe so, uh, Monday, I, I'm not too sure, but maybe. But Martial and Rashford, no, no chance whatsoever? Well, I wouldn't uh, put my life on it, no. But uh, it's, that's part of, part of this game. You, uh, you work with what you have, and we're um, looking forward to this game, of course. I know on a weekly basis you're accustomed to answering questions about Paul Pogba, yeah. and you'll probably smile now. Um, <laughs> he's, um, you know, he wasn't captain, didn't take a penalty, didn't go to the team bonding party, and now there's rumblings again. I mean, you're getting used to this anyway. Is it, what, what's the situation with, with... The situation is he f finished the game, 90 minutes, fantastic, but he got a knock to his ankle, which is very swollen, so it was better for him not to go there uh, with the team, and uh, he's in a race... Uh, I would guess for Monday. So there's a doubt over him yeah. playing as well. Yeah, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> as as usual, you, you've been the subject of intense scrutiny this week. You play play a side on Monday, whose form really is no better than yours. They're a big club, but Emery doesn't seem to get the same kind of scrutiny. Does that emphasise the size of this club, or how do you feel about? I don't uh, worry about uh, what other or what the press writes about other teams. I don't worry about what the press writes about me or Man United, really, because we are focused on what we uh, have to do, and that's to keep improving. And reading the papers, or uh, that doesn't really uh, change my view. Of course, I uh, I see once in a while and. Sometimes my kids are asking, what's, what's this about and all that. But that's uh, part and parcel of this club. And it's always been the same. When, when I was a player, it was always Man United. Uh, I, you do have the headlines, and which is a great position to be in. We wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We wouldn't want to scramble the newspapers to see if there's uh, written anything about us. Because that's our uh, rightful place. In terms of... The bumps in the road that you keep talking about, good yeah. days and bad days, you know the expectation yeah. around this football club. Do you think that there is an acceptance that these bumps in the road will be dealt with? Because each low brings more pressure, more scrutiny, more criticism. I, I never said it was going to be easy this season. We've, I've said it many a time, especially with you, Jamie. Here it's going to be ups and downs and highs and lows. And uh, when we lose a game, when we go through difficult periods, it's time for us to trust ourselves and trust what we're doing and keep our eye on the, on the prize and, that's, uh, and keep working to the principles that we believe in. Uh, it's not changing direction every, every game you lose. Because any, any game in the Premier League is winnable, but it's also losable. And... Uh, it's margins, fine margins, and sometimes you stand there smiling and you're happy because you won a game and sometimes you're angry because you've lost the game, but deep down you, you know that we are on the right way, or you win a game and you think, mm, I'm not really happy with this. You've got to portray the, the right uh, image. Ollie, how do you sense that the supporters are feeling? Because from what you're saying there and bumps in the road and all the rest of it, when you're around and talking to people, how do, what, what sense do you get from fans? Very, very positive, and uh, we can see what you're doing, keep going. Of course, it's easier to, uh, to be positive when you meet someone uh, face to face. Uh, it's e easier to hide behind some social media when you're uh, negative. Uh, so for me, I've, uh, I've been just amazed again by our supporters. You, you, you listen to the, gay, uh, to the crowd at uh, Old Trafford, uh, it's... They, they're amazing, they keep supporting us and that's, now it's time to, to do that because we are going through say a leaner patch uh, both trophy wise uh, in the last few years and also now um, with the results the last few games well, Goals have been an issue for the club so far this season, yeah. what do you put that down to? Is it a lack of confidence in front of goal, poor finishing not creating enough good quality chances, what's, what's been the problem? It's, you can see um, 
see how much, I th or I think you can see, uh, how much we've improved defensively. Because that's where we've, of course, we put the big money in with uh, Aaron and Harry. And I think we're looking very solid. We don't concede many chances. Yeah, we've conceded probably too many goals compared to how many chances we've, we've conceded. Then the other way, going forward, that's where we've struggled with injuries. Uh, created Paul, Anthony, Marcus. We've had some uh, bad luck in that respect. It's about building relationships. That doesn't ha help when you lose players because these boys, we've they get they need to um, uh, get the the patterns of play and work with it all the time and get used to that if you're half a second earlier in your movements it's so much easier and sometimes it's finishing could have been better it's frustrating when you got massive chances and you don't take them but that's also down to some uh, outstanding keepers out there Mason, obviously, he's been the guy who's got the breakthrough in the last two home games. Yeah. Is he ready now to step up and start in a Premier League match of this size against Arsenal? Well, uh, it might be, because uh, he's proven when he's been on the pitch in these uh, the last two games when he's, he started, Astana and Rochdale, he's our... Um, when you get him in the box, he's dangerous. He'll. What's pleased me about him as well in, this, in the period that we're in, that he's, he doesn't turn down chances to finish. And when you're uh, not 18 yet and you keep trusting yourself, um, he gets the chances. So I'm not worried about that, uh, him at all. Uh, but as you say, we've we've managed him. We've we, we can't just throw him in the deep end all the time. So he's proved in um, those games. He's he's ready for it now. Premier League. We'll I'll, I'll have the weekend to think about it. Okay. Last question. As mentioned, there is obviously a lot of talk about Manchester United in press and among pundits, but in your own words, how would you describe your team the way it looks right now? In my own words? Um, I don't know which United. <laughs> well, that's, oh, yeah. that, well, that was, uh, <laughs> for me, it's, uh, it's a team um, improving. It's in, in evolving. I think it's a young team. The culture is there. Uh, I, I see them every single day in training and we don't have any issues with attitude or work rate, desire. Now is, can we trust ourselves? Can we find that little, that composure? You can see against Astana, Rochdale, like the boys, they want to impress, they want to do well. And maybe they, they rush to the finish at times. So that's it's um, it's getting there.